Welcome back to the Tractor Tech channel. I'm Roger. I hope you're having a good day today. Really enjoying this weather we're having here today. It's only 64 degrees. Normally this time of year, it would be like 95 degrees and high humidity. It's a very low humidity day. It's actually so cool that I feel like I could almost have a jacket on after being used to the few warm days that we've had this year. What I want to talk about today is if your Kubota BX tractor won't shut off when you turn the key off. So we'll pop the hood here and take a look at some things. Okay, so we're on the left side of the tractor. And right here is what we need to look at. This is called the fuel shutoff solenoid. They need to be very, very careful when you're messing around here because obviously your tractor won't shut off, so the engine is running. And right back there is the fan, and right there is the belt. So you do not want to get your hands or any clothing in the belt or the fan. Okay, so I'll fire up the tractor here and show you what you need to do to get your tractor shut off. push it over until the tractor shuts off. I'm going to say most likely it is probably the solenoid has gone bad, but we need to check some things first, be sure everything is working properly. Now we'll come around to the tractor, come around the other side of the tractor I mean, remove this screen at the back. All right, so now we'll remove the cover from the fuse box. If you look at the diagram, the top fuse on the left side, at least on this BX2360, says solenoid. You need to pull that fuse out and check it. Probably going to be dusty looking. You can see my fuse is good. Now if you're ever questionable about a fuse, you can use a multimeter to check the fuse or just put another fuse in it would be easy enough. Sometimes they can have a hairline crack that is tough to see. Now under normal circumstances, a fuse shouldn't pop. If a fuse is popped, that's probably an indicator that you have a wire that is shorted to ground causing the fuse to pop. So something like a rodent may have chewed the wire now that we've established the fuse is good, the next thing we want to check is the wiring. Simple enough to disconnect. I have a test light and have it grounded. This is an old test light with an incandescent bulb. The ones with the LED bulb, you have to be careful. Some of them do have a voltmeter in there so you can tell that you have 12 volts going to it because it doesn't take much to illuminate an LED. This one is going to take a good bit so we'll be able to tell that we also have good amperage. All right, so there's key on, there's key off. You can see that we have good voltage going there. And then it goes off after a few seconds because the tractor is already quit running. That's the little click sound you hear after you shut the tractor off like maybe five, seven seconds later. So now that all that's been checked and the fuel stop sol fuel shut off solenoid is it working? Well, that's your culprit. So it's pretty easy to replace. We have two bolts with 10 millimeter heads and then it just slides out of this linkage on the injection pump. And of course, your wire, and then you can pop a new one in. You can, if you want, you can take the boots off, the boot off this end, try cleaning it. But for this problem, I doubt that that's going to fix it, but worth a shot. And after you've fixed your problem, this is what your fuel shutoff solenoids to look like when it works properly. There's on, there's off, and we'll just wait a few seconds here. And the voltage is off of it there. Well, I hope this video helps somebody figure out how to shut their tractor off when they turn the key off and it will not shut off. And then should also help you figure out how to figure out what the problem is, which is most likely the fuel shutoff solenoid.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good week.